Here we are at Big White Ski Resort and I'm going to show you how to shoot action photography on the Sony A6000. Now on the A6000 you're going to want to use the wide autofocus area and have tracking on. So there's a couple ways to do it. First thing we want to do of course is go to the function and uh, we want it on autofocus continuous so they'll constantly track as we're shooting and then right over here is the focus area. We want this to be wide, okay? When you have it on wide, it automatically will track. Now, see what's happening here? All these little dandruff flakes. I call them snowflakes, actually. But all these little snowflakes are going around, and it's telling us we're going to track whatever this is right here. So it doesn't know. You see how it tracks it across the screen? So there's a whole bunch of targets, and it doesn't know which one we want. This is where it gets fun. So we do a thing called focus lock, and that's lock on autofocus, and we put it on, and then we choose one. So let's say I choose that guy, and watch. Now I'm on him. See how it stays? And I'm going to leave it not moving, and it'll track him all the way off the screen. That's a very, very cool thing. And that's all you need to do is to find one and watch it track all the way off the screen, even when there's other things. See that? Uh, that one looks pretty fast. Let's follow him. See that? Crosses in front of someone else. Finds him again. How cool is that? Now let's go ahead and let's sing fire. Same thing here. Track this guy in these pants, these green squares, and there he goes. That part is very, very fun. Now, this is how you shoot action photography on the A6000. So here we go. It's going to go by. There he goes. That's my 11 frames per second. This one right here. And let's see. This blue guy right now. Let's find someone further up the hill. That one right there. Okay. So see, he's going in and out. The signs. Bang. That part's really fun. Now again, I'm going to show you what happens. Take this white guy. This one would be hard to find because he's white. He's going to blend in. Now watch what happens. He's going to go right across the screen. Now hang on to him. Oh, we lost him there. Okay, let's find this black guy right there. See? Wait. Let's find the yellow one right there. Okay? So I'm just going to hang on. Watch as it goes right across the screen keeps tracking other skiers going in front and around look at that <clears throat> another skier came right in the way and it went right by that's very exciting that is how to do really cool action photography okay so I'm just going to show you the basic again we're going to choose that guy right there watch him hangs on hangs on hangs on goes all the way through and that's it now what I've done is I've custom programmed my center button to be that button so let's just follow this guy. That's like an oozy fire. Really kind of a world of difference from any other technology. But you have to know how to use it correctly. And that's the issue, is that you have to understand that there's a couple settings. One is that you have to have the focus on uh, the... Uh, AFC, continuous focusing. Second, you have to have your focus area wide. And third, you have to have your um, focus lock to choose. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh, we don't want a white bracket. I just hit the wrong button. I got these big gloves on. There, shooting continuous high. That's 11 frames per second. Now, let's, again, let's review. See, if I go up here, it doesn't know. And this is the problem. It just, wait, who? Who, Gary? Who do you want? I don't know. These guys all look good. Do you want them? And it will focus on all those dandruff points. It's, um, God, why do I call them dandruff? We'll just call them, okay? But see, right there, boom. And so also what happens is if you happen to have someone kind of in the center, then you don't have to do the focus lock. But see how it switched? Now, these parameters are uh, resettable, but the thing is, is that it will become finicky 
watch this, boom, and then someone else. See that? So it lets go of that one. And the way to hang on to one, again, would be to do lock on autofocus, go up to on, right there, track objects nearest to the screen, Get this guy, and see it's hanging on to that person. Let's find someone really fast. Him. Okay. Wow, going in and out of trees. Where'd he go? So we'll go. Let's see, as soon as we track one, there becomes a square. And then it hangs on. Now I'm going to show you something really cool. Go right past me, all the way down into the village. And it'll hang on. All the way down. So it doesn't it doesn't let go. And that's the that's the the challenge of sports photography is how do you find the one and make it not let go? Now here's eleven frames per second. Yay! Helps and then lock. Focus lock on him. Wait, one, two, it's kind of a one, two, three thing, okay? So now, this person right there. See how people are crossing in front and out, and we're just banging away. There he is again, and going right in. Okay, so that is the Sony a6000. Very inexpensive little $600 camera. I'm out in the middle of the snow. <laughs> it's not waterproof, but you know, dry snow just falls right off, okay? So again, I want to drive this point home. Without the selection of the point, it'll pick the one in the center, and it'll uh, track that, okay? So if you want to, you know, try to say, oh, I want to grab something, then just find someone, stick them in the center, and then it'll hang on. That's one way to do it, and that's, you know, fairly effective to that one right there okay now we're hanging on and you will let him go right off the screen so that way i don't even need to chase him around the screen because he'll go right off the screen and i got him okay all right thanks for watching